Hey everybody, welcome back to Midnight Suns. Uh, we're gonna go on our story mission next. Uh, before we do that, I'm gonna send somebody on a hero ops. This should keep someone busy. Uh, we've got an upgraded rare ability or a regular rare ability. We're gonna take the upgraded one here because both are expiring. I probably don't have the intel to get both. Mind you, I think we're getting an intel cache from the next mission, so maybe maybe we will. Uh, in terms of abilities here, I think I'm going to give it to Spider-Man. He's got some really good abilities prices. in his kit. Uh, they all do, but... We're going to try and get him going a little bit. Uh, and then on this mission, it's called The Best There Is. Rare Gamma Coil, and yes, an Intel cache. So we could get to that other Intel um, or Hero Ops mission before it expires. I think I'd like to take Magic, because... Overwhelmingly in the comments, I see a lot of people want to see more magic. And when I did bring her out recently, it was not a good showing for her. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. But in terms of our squad, we're going to take the Hunter. Here's the deck. We got Last Sight in there where you can gain Concealed. We have the Holy Gift so we can uh, keep a card play or a, a card from being discarded. We've got the Dark Heal for a full heal when the Hunter takes a bit of damage. Uh, Guarding Strike to gain some passive block, and then Fury to apply some vulnerable. Uh, for magic, it's literally the stock deck, so we're trying to trying to work on that a little bit. And for Ghost Rider, he's got some nice upgrades right now. Lash Plus, so this is a quick card now, and uh, Drain Soul Plus. But we d we definitely want to buff his cards too. So yeah, this will be nice because we'll get some coils for this, and should be good. Let's go with, instead of the Charm of Clarity for a redraw, I'm going to go with the Vampiric Essence. I feel like comboing Vampiric Essence with Ghost Rider is very nice. Because naturally, he's always taking damage. Spider-Man, uh, I just sent you in a hero up. So, maybe get to that. That would be cool. As if the people of New York didn't have enough problems, scattered reports of Hydra activity are coming in from across the five boroughs. We'll head to the highest concentration first and take it from there. Uh, I would love for you guys to give me some of your thoughts on how you're enjoying the, the series so far. I know some of the episodes are just super long. There's a lot of Abbey stuff. Some of you might not even be watching the Abbey stuff, which I understand. Um, but either way, I would love to just hear how you think it's going, if you have any ideas for improvements okay we got the heroism off the bat but yeah i would love to hear it so wish me that would be great wish me luck on this mission okay let's go i got i got four big boys here uh one super big boy going after magic uh so we've got three targeting magic four targeting magic because i can't count Three targeting Ghost Rider. None targeting the Hunter. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, right off the bat, I'm going to redraw Hellmouth here. And I'm going to redraw Dark Heal. We don't have an immediate need for it. Okay, the portal's kind of an interesting... An interesting start. A couple of ways that we could utilize that. Um... Here's our only quick card, unfortunately. We do have a lot of really nice uh, vaulting damage here. Something to consider. I actually kind of want to start with that because I'm in a good spot for it. I'm going to do it. Not looking good here. Like, that's tons of damage for, for environment stuff. Uh, now I've got a quick slash. We can go here and here. We do have to try and get some of the noise off of magic, but like, I'm going to be able to take out this guy, but I, I, maybe I can take out this one. How do I want to handle this? Um, okay. I have an idea, guys. Let's do this. More. 
We're going to set up that portal. Because we haven't used our move yet, I'm going to shove this guy, and he's going to go through the portal. This is a pretty cool niche thing that Magic has because our shove does knockback. And if she's got a portal set up, then ba-boom. We still haven't <laughs> still haven't technically used any card plays. It will be forever. Um Yeah, so this is going pretty well. Who do I need to prioritize here? I don't have any more moves, so I kinda have to work with what's in the area. I've got another nice vault here from the hunter, actually. We're we're spreading damage pretty liberally uh, without focusing anybody down, but I think here we could look to do forceful knockback. Oh, I think I saw a KO there. Yeah, see, sometimes you really gotta look for your options on these forceful knockbacks. I think this is fine. Clear in the board. Hail that. The hand just kind of is playing itself at this point. Uh, guarding strike. Now, do I want to hold that? I don't. I don't know that I want to hold that. I'm just gonna look here for a second. Um, like that's a ton of damage. Now, I know this guy's going to hit magic, but I, I don't have the damage to take him down. I wonder if it's better for me to do something like this. Because this is 40 right now, right? Yeah, these were buffed. So she does this, then she does the soul blast. And then we have enough for guarding strike, and that probably finishes this guy. Nice. I guess we're going to take something over here. These look good. Leave some for the rest of us. And then uh, Hunter can finish this. What is it like being so inconsequential? It means we're not going to get the benefits of the of the um, block, but that's fine. Hunter's not even being targeted right now. Uh, Magic is going to take a powerful hit from him. Ghost Rider is going to take a little bit of hit hits there. That's fine. Board's getting cleared. Is there anything else that I might be able to use in the environment here? Not really, hey? Okay. Pretty solid opener, I would say. I would say pretty solid opener. They're not living up to their reputation. Magic may disagree, because she's about to just get absolutely walloped. 62 and vulnerable. You love to see it. Okay, we got the heroism. Hey, hell ride. Who doesn't love a hell ride? Huh, the only challenge here is I need heroism. I'm gonna discard one hell, right? I don't need two. Okay. These guys can't make that happen. And if I want to use the hell ride, I'm gonna need to save my move, most likely. Who's targeting magic here? Yeah, so both of those need to go down for sure. Hmm. I would love to get some damage on this guy. I just don't see how I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to do this to weaken the guy in the back a tad. Das Vidanya. Das Vidanya. 
Thus have I done. I think I may redraw a gather as well here. Oh, okay. Well, I like that. I do like that. The, the problem is... <laughs> I can't really use it here. I don't have a way to... Uh, to benefit from that. I've got no more redraws. If I did... <laughs> if I did Holy Gift, that would give me the two... Um, heroism. That takes me to four. That's one card play. Then I do a Drain Soul. That's going to buff it. And then this card will not be discarded. So that's cool. And then I'll have enough for a Hell Ride. I guess that's the play I have to make here. If I, if I want to use the Hell Ride, which I do. Invigorating. How invigorating. 23 health. I like that. Uh, if I don't use the Drain Soul, what's my alternative? To drop the box? Yeah, I guess. Hell Ride's 84. What's 84 plus 28? Uh, it's not enough to kill this guy. So maybe the play is... Actually, yeah, we're not even going to get the benefits of this because Hellride is going to discard my, my hand after this anyway. But I needed the heroism, so... Ultimately, it's all kind of the same. So I think the play here... is to chain... this guy and this guy. And then... This guy's in range for the Hell Ride. I think I can hit all three of these. I hope, anyway. Yeah, I think I should be able to. Hell, uh, man, is... <laughs> I feel like Ghost Rider's gonna get knocked here. He is going to, actually, he's going to drain soul off this. So this guy did like 60-some damage, and these guys are doing like 40-ish. So as long as he's... It's going to be really close, is basically what I'm saying. I may have to use the Vampiric Essence here to keep him alive. He's at 95. I just don't think he can tank that. So this state in hand got buffed, which is cool. The alternative here is that... This is now worth how much damage? 14 times 3, so 40... 42? Not enough to KO, which isn't the end of the world. I could save Hellride for next time. And let the Hunter take a hit here. I think what we do is we chain off of this. This guy's in Hellride range. And then I'll put two onto the Officer. And we save the Hellride. I don't need to use the Vampiric Essence. So even on the next turn, I can use Vampiric with Hellride. Now Hellride's going to do even more damage because of our offense increase. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I have a shove that we could use here. I want to save the Heroism because I need it for the Hellride. Yeah, I think that's probably the better play. Plus, now, whatever comes in, I can probably line up, or hopefully line up a better Hellride, so. We will never forsake her. How many times can I say Hellride in one video? Hmm. The victory. Never forgets 
Up. See, that's so much damage. 55 these guys are dealing. Be embarrassed huh. by your weakness. That's ridiculous. They haven't had enough yet. Okay, I see the I see a four-man hell right there. I approach the end of my time. Okay. And actually, if I knock this guy in, we maybe replace him in this little... I think I... If I can knock him into that one, I don't know if I have that kind of angle. No. You're just lucky we aren't allowed to take your life. <laughs> Get it? Because they're only knocked out, guys. They're fine. They're fine. Uh, let's see here. I need... The threshold is 96. So I can get this guy into the threshold. This guy's in the threshold. I could also use my uh, card draw... Combat item. I could. I could do that. And we're going to hell ride that. Let's do it. I need a boost oh, interesting. Again. Okay. So, Lash... I can't use... <laughs> I can't use Lash right now. Unless... Well, I'm going to use this anyways on Ghost Rider. Stay still. Achoo. So now as long as he's dealing, as long as he's dealing more than, well, I mean, this is not going to kill him. Is it? It says it's going to kill him, but I feel like with the lifesteal, he's going to gain this lifesteal damage from here first, right? I guess we find out. We're going to do this for science. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. I think I talked about this in a previous... In a previous video. That we had. Where I was like... I know it has to be a damage card, but it does say lifesteal. But because he's not actually doing... Like, this type of damage from a card... <laughs> He doesn't gain the knock, the knocking uh, life steal, which is super unfortunate. <laughs> well, now we know. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's great. Now we know. Um, this guy's targeting Ghost Rider, so he's not going to do anything. This guy's targeting uh, Ghost Rider, so he's not going to do anything. Thirty-three. I have a resist. Can I hit all four? Oh my god. I have to. And then I've got a last sight. Well, that was a not great. Science results, guys. If I do say so myself. Now that was something. I actually am going <laughs> to... I'm actually going to put this last sight on the big guy because both of their attacks aren't going to do anything here. And then this resist is going to get nullified. So even though I won't have concealed, this guy will definitely be killable next turn. Unless there's a way I can... Yeah, maybe I, could, maybe I just do it like this. 
I just, I would hate to throw away, like, maybe a hero combo or something. Yeah, that'll work too. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. You are lucky to still be breathing. So, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna have to look into why his lash would even show lifesteal if in fact it's not going to lifesteal. And it, it obviously showed that he was gonna be KO'd there, but you would just think that it wouldn't work that way, so yeah, sorry. To keep going back to that well. Oh, and actually, hold on. Even better. Even better. I serve until the end. All right. Is everyone ready for a good fight? We're ready for something. <laughs> We've done it. Excellent work. Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this. Aha! Sick. Okay, so I was right. I live up to my name, too. Hell of a prize, Crossbones, put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. Best there is at what he does. Welcome, buddy. Happy to have you. You got one thing right today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Oh, look. Another mangy stray. You smell wrong. Compared to him? Good point. And now I get to kill two runs with one claw. <sighs> Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Defeat Sabretooth to complete the mission. Sabretooth won't wait until the enemy turn to launch his attack, so move quickly. Take that animal down, and we also only out. have the Hunter and Wolverine, and the Hunter's not even fully healed. Check your ears, Creed. She didn't stutter. So he's on a frenzy. Uh, every two actions, he's gonna do a thing. Every two card plays, I should say. Uh, so let's look at... Let's look at Wolverine's cards. His quick swipe has taunt and quick. So if you can't KO the enemy, at least he can uh, he can have the taunt. We actually have three resist on the hunter right now, which would prevent all of the damage that we see, but we can take out a couple of them. But it's possible that Sabretooth then acts as well. Having the hunter be concealed could kind of be cool. We have 176 health here on Wolverine. So, we could just go quick swipe here, quick swipe here, see what this guy does. Hopefully he attacks the hunter, because it would be resisted. And then play the rest out from there. I saw a move like that once. Okay, so he's gonna act next. Our shove on this is uh, two heroism. Bad luck for you, though. They cannot possibly match your strength. Okay, who's he gonna go for? Well, don't love that. Dazed. Oh, okay, it's only a, it's only a single daze. It's only a single daze. That could be worse. Kind of like this. Hmm. 
Okay, so he's undazed now. <laughs> okay. So if I last sight here, I'd go I'd gain concealment, true. But then if I'm gonna hero combo. What do I do? Do I take out one of these guys or put it all into Sabretooth? I, I honestly think we put it all into Sabretooth. Uh, I kind of think I just go last sight right here. I'm going to actually redraw Whip. Let's see if I can get anything quick. Okay, interesting. I can't really play this because it's going to use the heroism that I want. It's 40. Thing is, I can use this to, like, knock him into something. Or I can... Maybe this is the play. So that this minion doesn't just take up... One of our resists. Is that a tactical maneuver? I don't know if I have the angle here. Oh, I do. I do. But then again, I'm, I'm in a situation where I wouldn't be able to use the, the hero combo. So, I think... I think let's do it like this. Still 47 damage. You think this hurts? If he attacks Hunter, which he's not. Well, granny did harder. Oh my that. god. That's some damage. 84 left. Hunter's like, I'm here too, bro. Okay. So now, both of these guys are going to go. He's not going to act until a card play. Next turn, I'll gain a bit of block. Both of these attacks will be resisted. You can keep the wizards and witches. I'll stick with what I know. Claws and teeth. Another resist, good. So, is he some sort of werewolf? Okay. 97. I think in this scenario, it might be worth doing the dark heal. Because I'm just worried if I play this, like, does he have, can he do 84 damage to me? Because if he goes down, that's really bad, especially with this hand that we have. And I do have resist times two. Hold on. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have any heroism, so I can't do that. I was thinking about maybe kicking this thing. I could push him into the deal, though, if I wanted. Let's start here and see how Sabretooth reacts. Great. 
There's our obsidian collar as well. Totally thought about that. So now we actually might have the damage. Okay, so 37. That's fine. He definitely does not care about, about the hunter. The next hunter attack card played deals double damage, so we see what we need to do there. Although, I think he has an extra life here. This is a free card play. Uh, man. So he's going to get to act again. And, like, I need to play... I need the heroism, so I need to play Berserk. Now for something real special. 97. And then if I play Fury, that's his final, but he's not dead yet. He could be... Actually, here's what we do. Uh, we got the heroism from Berserk. Wolverine's going to need to take two hits here. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I think we do the... Instead of playing the Caller right now... We knock him into Wolverine. And then I can play Guarding Strike. Or maybe I can even play... Eviscerate. He might be low enough. And this won't trigger Frenzy yet. He's at 54. Now I can eviscerate. Eviscerate. Chain four. Like, that's... So he's got chain swipes, which is a chain three plus taunt. And now he's got eviscerate, which is a chain four for two heroism. So we put three into him. If I wanted to, hold on a sec, because I'm not, I'm not going to target either of these this turn. Is this enough? No, this is only 39, so, so that's not enough. So I do have to play Eviscerate or Guarding Strike, but I get the benefits of the lifesteal only for this turn because of Berserk. So, I guess I should do this. One, two, three, four. Done waiting. Now he's full health, at least. They die, they die. He's downed. Uh... Am I going to play Berserk next turn? I mean, it might be good. It's Heroism, and I have another Eviscerate, so I can basically heal off all the damage that he's going to take here. Hunter's going to uh, use up both Resist. I may want to have Fury in hand. I could do... Oh, maybe now is the time to play Obsidian Caller. Only downside is, uh, if the hunter draws, like, the quick cards, then it's wasted, but it won't, it won't boost his frenzy if I play it now. So it's a little bit of a, little bit of a risk here, but that's fine. The advantage is mine. I think I'm okay with that. I'm gonna keep Guarding Strike. I'm gonna keep Eviscerate. So, best case scenario next turn, I probably play Berserk. 
for the heroism. I don't see a way where I'm going to be able to play Fury anyways. Because if I go... It depends if I get a quick card, but like... Hmm. I'm going to look for a quick card here. <laughs> of course. Of course. And to be fair, like, these ones, I keep thinking that uh, our damage just gets doubled. It is just the attack card, but even still, this quick slash can be used on one of these big guys, and it's still a decent chunk of damage. So I want to keep that. So I could go Berserk for one card play, two heroism, quick slash for one card play, one heroism. That leaves me at three. And then I could finish up with an Eviscerate and maybe... Uh, a vault or something like that. So, yeah, I think that's good for us here. That'll heal right up. Okay, we didn't not we didn't get a resist there. Which I think I would have preferred. May be terse, but at least he is not a cold-blooded killer. Okay. I'm just looking. I don't think I have the damage here. Uh, what I could do. is do a shove, and then I can finish him with a quick slash. And then depending, I may, I don't think I'm gonna have the angle here for our guy, but. Oh, maybe I will actually. We are moving in a bit. He's gonna act. Oh, no, he's not. That was only one card play. I think I should take advantage of this. Or... Hold on. Maybe I go... F Maybe I go Fury here to put Vulnerable on him. I hope he doesn't have 66 damage. Either way, whatever card I play next, he's going to act, so I wouldn't be able to save him here, unless I'm looking for something else. I've gained block from this twice. I'm going to redraw a guarding strike here, just see if I get anything that might help. The quick card's good, but it does play into the fury, so it's kind of... Not great. Sixty-six. I mean, there's nothing I can do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go here for the uh, vulnerable and final for the hunter. Hopefully, Sabretooth attacks the hunter just for one time, just once. We'll settle up later. Nope. That is really bad. Because I have all Wolverine cards. That is really bad. Oh, that is so, so bad, man. There's nothing I can do. So, that's really rough, man. Because now Wolverine's going to get KO'd here. From the way people talk, I figured we'd all just die in terror at the sight of you. So much for that. 
Their persistence is irritating. Okay. Guarding strike was redrawn for us. Kind of interesting. This one has the stink of death on it. A past filled with the suffering of innocent victims. I feel like this vulnerable should not be there. Because it should only be f for one turn. Huh. Removed after using a targeted ability. I wonder if revive counts as a targeted ability. How much health am I at here? Not a ton. The other thing I'm worried about <laughs> is if I if I can seal the hunter here, then. If I revive after that, and he just... Because that's a card play, even though it's free. It's still going to be a card play for him, right? So last sight into a revive. It's kind of rough. Oh, yeah, he's got his own... That's right. Wolverine has his own thing here. Where... You don't have to use a revive card... Rapid regeneration. Huh. That's interesting. Because I could last sight. Then I could play rapid regen here. And then it definitely won't trigger. Am I going to conceal? I guess I should, because that's going to nullify a bunch of attacks. Hydra stand fallen, Ray D. I just have to hope he doesn't get dazed here. Cute trick. Okay, so I think we're good. Okay, so now we go Berserk. See, now that Vulnerable's gone. So maybe the way that that works is because he's frenzied, he doesn't act like normal turns. It lasts until he triggers his frenzy. That's There's so many cool little mechanics there that, man... That's really neat. So it's just another thing we need to keep track of. But we didn't get any benefits of the vulnerable, but now we can kind of plan for that. I think in this scenario, I'm going to put one in here just to kind of clear the board a bit. Put the rest in here. Not looking good for you. You call this a wound? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it's just like knocks him into the next zip code. Holy smokes, man. All right. You're not good enough for me, but I think you already knew that. Oh man, we're getting the heroism, which, to be fair, we like we do need. It is a shame you chose to waste your talents chasing the highest bid. Did not have to end up this way. 
I think here again... I need to go berserk. Into eviscerate just to make sure he stays alive. We eviscerate these two and the rest into him. And then it's a risk if I use the dark heal, to be honest. But it kind of depends. It depends. Depends who uh, Sabertooth attacks. And if history is any indication. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. So I have two card plays left here. What I could do is... And I think I will do this. I just put... I can just put everything into him on this turn. Right? Then his frenzy is going to trigger. See who he attacks. And then I can... Uh, and then I can chain swipes... This guy? Guarding Strike's actually been doing work with that block game. <laughs> It's really nice, uh, but I might I probably use this as like a finisher here. the ch The scary part about playing the quick swipes, yes, they're free, but it's going to trigger his uh, his frenzy, right? So that's the scary part. Because then if I get dazed or something, it messes up everything. So I kind of have to make sure that I'm putting out as much damage as as possible. And for that reason, actually, because I might even get dazed. I am going to take out these two. Let me let me try and end up somewhere over here. So I go uh, two hits, one. No, okay, I'm ending up in the spot that I'm at. So it doesn't really matter. But I do still have a move. This is going to life steal, and then we'll see what Sabretooth does. Now it's my turn. This is where you really feel the the big offense and health boosts of the higher difficulties, because these bosses, like, it's percentage-based, right? So the percentage on boss health is just so much higher. Oh, there's the days, exactly. So. Okay, I need only one card play, actually. I only need one card play here to get him undazed. I don't think Dark Heal's the play here. I think we go for a whip. I mean, that's more damage for sure, but... This weakens him too. But it's not enough to kill him anyway, so maybe I just focus getting as much damage out on... Sabretooth is hunterly possible. See what I did there? Your time is up. I'm gonna actually redraw the quicks. I don't mind this. He's at 116, so... With Slash Plus and Guarding Strike... Including the knockback damage, that should be enough to take him out. Because naturally it takes us to 110. So then the extra 6 would come from a knockback. Presumably. Presumably. 
we can even just take it here. I've got all the heels I need. So now he's at 93. Am I going to need this dark heal? I hope not. I better hold it. We're only getting attacked by the one elite here. You're not out of this yet. This is a shame you chose to waste your talents chasing the highest bidder. You did not have to end up this way. Okay. I wonder if we need to finish off the remaining enemies once we take him out. If we do, I do want to keep a quick slash. I'm going to start with this and we'll see what he does with his fury. Actually, that's a lie. That is not what we're going to do. We're going to shove him again. And then the guarding strike will be enough to finish him, and he won't get to use his frenzy. Nobody makes me believe. Peace. Size does not nice. always equal strength. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was that was fun. Looks like you got me runt. Go ahead. Make it quick. What the hell are you doing? Not much of a hunter, are you? You'd fit right in with Logan and the rest of Xavier's housebroken little pets. I think he was expecting that thing around your neck to bite back. Can he heal from that too? Don't know. But I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you too. So now he's in the pool. Yeah, that one star. I mean, one of the KOs was for science, so we won't make that mistake again. But uh, that second part of the fight, that was really tough too. I'm, you know what? I'm okay, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I have to be. <laughs> Ultimate two difficulty, two knockouts, one for science. Maybe if we only had one, maybe we squeak out at two? I don't know. I don't know, but I do like that all four are on this. That was pretty fun. Uh, we did get to showcase Magic's kit a little bit more there, so that was cool. <laughs> it sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett but I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. 
Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. You think? Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. <laughs> the eye roll. <laughs> Okay, four, three out of four with Robbie, two out of three with Magic. Got some light or some dark alignment there. And uh, we met Wolverine. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. Rest easy. I will not freak out because you do not seem like a threat. That's because you haven't seen me on a bad day. <laughs> so you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Men, you're always an X-Men. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? Mark my words. The next time we meet, I will finish him. Normally, I'd tell you no way, but I've seen your <laughs> moves. If anyone can handle Sabretooth, it's you. Thank you for explaining this to me. It seems I have a lot to learn. Of course. Mutant society is small, but super complicated. But all you need to know is that Sabretooth sucks. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, the other thing to make me feel less bad about how that fight went is it was only two of us against Sabretooth, so that's kind of that's kind of cool. Having Sabretooth <laughs> wrapped up in all I'm over this it, is guys, another I'm over headache it. I we promise. don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. He may be good at what he does, but I have my doubts he will be anything but a danger for us. He's the best there is I at what he does. I said the same thing myself when I first met him. It was decades ago. I've changed a lot in that time. He's remained the same. He's always gruff, but he never disappoints. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. All right, uh, we do have shop class. That is that is true, but I'm just gonna. Oh, can I not do this? Oh, I can't fast travel right now. Okay. Seriously, this is about as celebratory as I get. Unless there's a boba. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, because we're going, we're doing the, we're doing the old teleport. So what I want to do here is sacrifice one of our artifacts. Let's throw a knife in there. This looks like it belongs here. And we'll try uh, reveal. Huzzah. 
It seems my offering was accepted. We got a key. All right. Over time, we'll try and figure out what the uh, correct things to do are. I'm sure people have, like, wikis and stuff for all of that. I know on the, the subreddits, if you guys are interested, there's a lot of people posting about um, which heroes like which gifts and like which hangouts, havens, that kind of stuff to kind of, like, min-max. But uh, as I've described, for me, I like to kind of do that organically. It's it's a little bit more fun for me. I'm just gonna grab whatever is over here. Oh, also, isn't there a? Uh, yeah, we have this. We have this little spot. Hello, what's back this here? Is our path. Okay. Speaking of havens, the secluded pillar. We take. Thank you. The Hanged Man. Bucky is restrained by Hydra, but waits patiently for the right moment to break free from the prison in his world and his mind. The card represents letting go of that which cannot be controlled and adaptation. And then we will open one of these. Okay, we got a focusing beacon, face prop, rare palette for blade. Select a hero to taunt all enemies in an area. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Um, one thing that I was talking about before is it, I said it would be nice if you could tell which one of these you've opened. And you, you can see it. I had so thought somebody mentioned that there was a slash through them. But uh, you can see like this one's slightly opened and this one is uh, not. So. Oh. Did you hear that? Where is she? Ebony? I heard the cat. I see the cat. Where is the cat? Okay, it must be behind. Ebony. Oh, right there. So, it's like so well hidden. Aw, who is a good kitty? Aw, that's okay. Common combat bonus. Start the mission with a hero combo in your hand. That's, I don't know if that's that good of a combat bonus, to be fair, because uh, that's going to be something that you won't be able to play right away. Just gonna open up these chests. Wall frames E, some credits there. We'll take it. And I'm just gonna spam open these chests. Oh, is this a thing? No. Is it up this path? No, but this is here. Can I actually mark these? There we go. That's a little easier. Imperial Legendary Palette, Rune of Aggression. Select a hero, they gain a counter. Okay. That's pretty nice. 
Um, I can't really afford to buy them right now. I like that too, the rank and file. X static is nice. The sigils are kind of cool. It's relatively cheap. Midnight headband. I actually don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Capital. Watchful and arachnid. Okay. Let's see. Because we have a combat bonus, like I could I could make a great argument for saving all of these. So I'll maybe just do one. Okay, nice. It's also a, turning out to be a pretty good source of uh, credits. Oh, now, do I have... Attack Essence 25, Common Blueprint 1. I don't think I have the Common Blueprints, right? I don't. Okay, so there's something, maybe... Maybe, if we get lucky, maybe I could find a blueprint in a chest. Because he did say something like, if I got both, that he, uh, that we could get, you know, both the options that they make or something. Charm of Clarity. Blade skin. Okay. I mean, I could try the the rare one. Uh, where's our marker here? I just feel like the chances of finding a common blueprint in there are pretty slim. In a rare chest. Come on, blueprint! Nope. Got the legendary night shift, though, for Nico. Okay, I think that's all of them. So, because I'm desperate. Because I'm desperate. Where is the... That's the big one. It's already opened. Is it inside? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Okay, ornate hunter's quarters, ornate chandelier. We could pimp out our room a little bit more. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm doing it. I'm all, I guess I'm all in now, guys. I'm all in. Who needs combat bonuses anyways? Alrighty. We tried. Didn't get it. I hope Colossus didn't get wind of all that ca- I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit, I'm a little excited. <laughs> I have something for you. A roll of quarters? Sorry. Never mind. That's fine. So, I guess there's no way to, like, avoid shop class, right? Like, if I just went to sleep, 
Oh, maybe. I wonder if that overwrites it, though. Who knows? It's Ready not going to be the class? end of the world. Oh, what if I just say not tonight? I cannot. I have other plans. I hear that. I'll hit you up next time. Huh. Okay, well, let's see. Because now maybe I'll have the option to still find that stuff and give him the necessary things. Let's hope so. I had it too, and I just kind of went a little bit too hog wild. No. No hangouts tonight. Representing raw fury and strength, Set was the first of the elders to turn on his fellow god to consume them. With each god swallowed, Set's power grew to unmatched proportions, with the remaining gods forced to seek refuge elsewhere in the universe. Ostur took to the stars, while Gaia embedded herself within the earth and created sanctuary for the earth's inhabitants by sealing the world from both Set and Cathan's influence. See a lot about these gods, like, eating each other's. Oh, you know what? Can I make... Okay, I thought maybe I could craft a basic blueprint. It's not it's not meant to be. Okay, sleep time. Hunter, if you're receiving this message, please come to the central console as soon as possible. That's odd. <laughs> yep. Is this in the middle of the night? Yep, everyone's sleeping. Talk to Dr. Banner. Dr. Banner, you've re-emerged. I'm sorry, Hunter. Probably not the best impression of me. Uh, but now I'm back. You are of no help to us if you cannot be reached. We need to be able to rely on you. That's understandable. And I apologize for the inconvenience. I was knocked offline by a spike in gamma radiation that tore through the electromagnetic spectrum. Bad day to be a Manhattan cell phone tower. But don't worry, I've isolated the problem here. No more blackouts, I promise. But I am concerned about the other ripple effects this gamma radiation could have caused. That's why I would like to scan you and see if the shifts in energy have affected you. I do not understand. Our target is my mother. How can focusing on me help? You're special, Hunter. Underground all these years, protected from any gamma influences, and you share the mother of demons' DNA. The same one who can manipulate the gamma particles in ways still unknown to us. I think there is quite a lot we can learn from you. Just stand very still. You shouldn't feel a thing. Those are Stark gadgets. And we're done. Once I analyze this scan, we'll all be much wiser. Thank you, Hunter. What's our uh, dark balance at right now? We've been getting tons here. 44? I feel like we have a, a threshold at 50. Oh, Charlie. All I want to do is pet you. Good girl, Charlie. Who's a good girl? That is my Charlie girl. <laughs> Imagine how much of a relief it is to sleep through the night and you're not having some horrible nightmare about your demon mom. Just saying. Forgot to mention, Logan is part of the old guard X-Men. Takes some getting used to, but he tells you exactly what he thinks. If I had to spend time with the old guard, I would choose him. You choose Logan over your brother Peter? <laughs> no question. Logan treats me like a person. Peter still thinks of me as a lost child. Rather put up with the stinky hairy man than the shiny patronizing sibling. And he's less stinky now, according to New York State. You can't teach children with a cigar in your mouth. Uh, Bruce says, never listen to what the others say. You have so much promise. I can picture the mark you will leave upon this world, and it's glorious. 
Dr. Banner, are you okay? I don't remember sending this at all. I haven't been getting much sleep. Forget I said anything. That's weird. That's very weird. <laughs> all right. Hey guys, don't work too hard, eh? An epic, multi-dimensional ciphers and graviton theory. Gotta be, gotta be Doctor Strange, right? I see multi-dimensional, I think strange. The blade being all zen in the rain. It's kind of, kind of beautiful actually. Uh, let's take a look at what our next mission is going to be. Oh, hello. Look at that map. They've got emergencies all over the globe. Hydra is staying true to its multi-headed namesake. They're currently active in New York, Paris, Moscow, Singapore, Los Angeles. The list keeps growing. They caught us off guard. We'll put them back in check. With what, Tony? Avenger forces are spread thin as it is. Temporarily. We're back in contact with Banner and we still have the tower. And that's supposed to make us feel better? We thought we had the Sanctum until we didn't. Well, I'm sorry, Stephen, but your overrated metaphysical library is not my state-of-the-art militarized tower. It will hold. Hold what? Your ego? You'll need a taller tower. Oh, coming from the man who literally calls himself Supreme. <laughs> Are you Boys. too finished yet? Every second we waste arguing, Hydra takes another bite out of yeah, our ass. Fine. Then let's stop arguing and take a bite out of their ass. Yeah, let's just stop arguing. <laughs> My god. Okay, what's our mission? Some assembly required. Okay, that looks like Avengers Tower. That is going to be cool. We do have to do one additional side mission here. Uh, an artifact, essences, or, or rare blueprints. I'm open to doing any of these. I'm open to doing any of these. Underneath my mask is a look of Opportunist plus. So the next two Spider-Man environment attacks cause zero heroism and deal extra damage. And we get the plus two moves so that he can move, do the attack. So ideally what you do is you shove, then you move, do the attack, then you move, do another attack. Very nice. Okay. Oh, I only have 14. I think I have a... No, I should have an intel Tony cache, and Dr. Str So we're good. What's new, Hunter? Want to read something that'll make you weep? So we've Take got a, a common upgraded ability and a rare ability here. And we got tons of intel. Where's our These expiries the at? Priorities. They're everywhere. So 39, I could squeeze both of these in for 32, and then just, if this one expires, don't I don't have to sweat it. Heal before Modigi. Or Modog, sorry. Thanks, Hunter. We'll decide who to send there later. Ileana, can you settle a bet? Depends. Nico thinks that you're related to THE Rasputin. And which one is that? Freaky eyes, 70s hair, possibly knocked boots with the Tsarina? You think I come from royalty? No, she thinks you're descended from a freaky wizard. So were you? Not every Russian with the name Rasputin comes from that Rasputin. See? But my grandfather is one of the few who did. Called it. Pay up. Fine, Nico, you win. I'll buy you what you wanted. But who wants TV series and box sets anymore? Pack rats who don't trust streaming services to work out the rights. Fair. I had hoped we could all conduct ourselves in a calm, professional manner. Unfortunately, Tony really gets under my skin sometimes. I could see that. I mean, the nerve of him to say that the Sanctum is inferior to Titanium Tower of Tony. <laughs> can you believe it? You can mock it all you want, but that tower rivals anything I saw back in my day. 
The level of technical sophistication on display is almost like magic. Yes, almost like magic, but not true magic. For that, the Sanctum will never be rivaled. Though I guess that point is lost on you. Pity. How bad is your disagreement with Tony? Is it going to cause problems for the rest of us? Don't worry, Tony and I may argue, but when it comes to stopping Lilith, we are in total agreement on the end goal. Even if we disagree on the way to achieve it. Sometimes, Tony and I do actually act like grown-ups. Well, at least I do. <laughs> Debatable. It's a pleasure, Hunter. Oh, you are gonna love Okay, this. so we have the Strike Terminal uh, War Room Schematic. Hydra enemies have a chance to become available for interrogation when KO'd in combat. Uh, this is the only thing we have next, but that's good, because we at least have something. This would unlock the Borderline suit and the Vengeance passive. We need to get to level f f uh, 2 Friendship with Nico. I need one more Magic mission to get the Threat Room schematic. I need one more Ghost Rider mission to get the Forge schematic. And I need to upgrade two more Captain Marvel abilities to get more intel into crypting caches. And I can run multiple hero ops at a time. But you need the surplus intel to be able to do that. So, anyway. We're going to start here, and then next mission, I think we'll do Magic and Ghost Rider again, just to complete that. Maybe I do a little, um, I could do maybe a Haven Hangout with Nico, although I don't really have a gift for her, but we can give gifts in regular, uh, Hangouts too. And then the Captain Marvel abilities, that's going to be tough, but maybe after this next Nico Ghost Rider mission... Or, sorry, Magic Ghost Rider mission. Then I could take uh, Captain Marvel to get some of her abilities. Or I could send her on Hero Ops, actually. I could look at that. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Genius Inventor strikes again. Ooh. <laughs> This merciless ability, this could be situationally very good. So, you might think that stun, yes, it's I rare. Like I, automate this process and I think we've seen a hunter cool. card that has an upgrade to add a 25% chance to stun, which isn't that great. But then if you have merciless, it is good. But you can also use these against enemies that are stunned from the generators. And it's also a 47 damage attack for the Hunter, and it's a Dark Hunter card, so we may actually lean into that. Straight to Hell's not bad. We replace one of our other pits, Hellmouth, with this, and then that's a save on Ghost Rider, which can be very nice. It's basically like a conceal. He can't be targeted, and then he turns into a drop. It's his last action of the thing, but it's kind of nice. We could use a Gather to buff Gather. Or we could grab a Banish, replace an enemy with a drop just to prevent uh, outgoing damage as well. This, if we upgrade it, you can replace an enemy or ally with a drop. <laughs> it's funny that you see all of these coming together. If we upgrade this, uh, we have a l much larger area for Gather, which I think is really pretty solid. The upgrade here is he actually gains health on Straight to Hell. And the upgrade here... If the target has stun or bind, this thing behind me turns into a which actually Egypt, pairs I'm really quick. well with Strange, pairs really well with Spider-Man. Uh, so I'm definitely going to take Merciless. Man, it's a tough call on what to take here because his other card is kind of useless to us. We never, we almost never play it. Almost never. And this is a big save for him. So like when he gets low, you pop straight to hell if you have it and you hide him. Um, but these upgrades are nice too. I'm going to, I'm going to take the Ghost Rider card. Always a pleasure. All right. War room upgrade available. This is out of stock for two days. We don't have the vampiric essence anymore. What do I even have? Hero, they gain one counter. It's kind of nice. This combo of focusing beacon and rune of aggression seems like it could be pretty cool. Right? Because you select a hero, you taunt all enemies in an area. And then you give them rune of aggression. 
As long as they can tank at all, then they can hit back if you wanted to go that route. I can't really afford to build any of these. I do think Battlefield Scanner is pretty good. If I use one of these, it takes me to 88 Heroic Essence. This should be so I'll useful. do that. We definitely need to unlock more of the items to craft for sure. I'm going to go see if I can do a haven uh -oh. here. here. Trouble. I just need to get her to level 2. What is her... How many XP away is she right now? Okay, you know what? A compliment I think will do it. I admire Sick. how you have made your own family here. Hunter? Wow, I'm blushing now. Don't mind me, but I also want to talk to Magic. Sorry I didn't oh, upgrade any fault. of your cards. <laughs> oh, nice. Can I ask a favor? Perform a hero combo with Magic in combat. We get 6 XP. And we increase Hunter's strength, so Hunter's knockback distance. I have four days, so four missions to complete this. I'm going to take it. We're Thanks, starting Hunter. our next mission with a uh, Sup, hero Ancient combo one. card in hand. So that's Yo, kind of neat. To see you. War room upgrades. This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. So let's upgrade this for a hundred. Things are looking up around here. Now we have a chance to do interrogations. Bye. And do I have I, I must not have any cards to upgrade here. Yeah, I don't. I can spar. Ten percent crit damage. Okay. So I want to put this on somebody that has high damage output already. Because this is, this is not the crit chance. This is the crit damage. So, uh, Ghost Rider. Captain Marvel. Iron Man-ish. Could all benefit, I think. Also is going to give a combat bonus. He's not available. She's not available. <laughs> Magic's not available. Uh, well... I did say Iron Man. Blade, he's, he does have some pretty strong cards situationally. And and his his passive is pretty nice too, so the friendship is nice. Just don't know when I'm going to take him on a mission next. But let's give it to Blade. I'm ready when you are. Just remember the most... There are no rules. Okay, so he's at 30% critical damage. Uh, start the oh he's also got the combat the common uh, bonus for a hero combo in your hand and three XP there Later. all right so I'm a little low on essences I think like if I'm just looking at our possible rewards here I'm kind of leaning towards this I don't really need an artifact right now because I have a whole bunch of other missions um, I have enough to do two things of intel back to back. Some rare blueprints would be pretty nice, but I actually think I gotta go here. Now it is a Doctor Strange mission and we need to defeat heavy enemies. So that's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. Uh, yeah. Trying to think of who I would take, because I do want to take Ghost Rider. I do want to. I do want to get Magic in there more, and they're both required for the next level of research. We're going to be able to do this one tomorrow. So technically, our our mission after this could our mission after this could be Magic and Ghost Rider together. So, or maybe what I just do here is we take Strange, Hunter, and Ghost Rider, get his done. 
Because Ghost Rider will have some damage for the heavies. Uh, he will have that save and stuff as well. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll send... Around arguing like this. Who are we sending on an op? We're going to do this one. A rare... Ability. Uh... My, my worry is is how Ghost Rider handles those heavies. I feel like I should take Blade there. Because he's going to get hit so hard. Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice, but we all know what we signed up for. Yeah, I changed my mind. Let's send Robbie here. No problem. And then, you know what we'll do? <sighs> she does have, like, some of these gathers and stuff. It's just her damage output's kind of low. And then these aren't going to be that useful because there's no reinforcements on these missions. I wonder if that's too challenging of a mission for her. But I also have that hero combo challenge, so I should try and bring her out. And if I bring these both. It's a bit rough. Maybe what we'll do is... This could be really good if we're able to stun someone. I'm going to get rid of Holy Gift for right now and put Merciless in. We can keep... Maybe what we do is empty the... Empty the quick slashes here. Put wild strike in. Situationally, that I mean that could be good. Uh, and then we could use magic just for the uh, minions and portaling and stuff, and knocking people into the stuff to follow up on the stuns with merciless could be great. So maybe I maybe I can work that in there. All right, I think that's what we'll do. Guys, let's talk to Tony, and then we will One day wrap it up. Figure out would... That was quite a heated discussion between you, caretaker, and the doctor. What can I say? I will always fight to keep the faith. Hydra may be on the rise, but they will never rise above the tower. Do not let your arrogance lead you to underestimate Lilith. There is no fight my mother cannot rise to. Whose side are you on, Hunter? Your side. <laughs> well, you're starting to sound like a Hydra press secretary. I do not work for you, Tony. I am not here to make you feel better about your building. Uh, if this is your idea of an inspirational speech, I think we should have Captain America <laughs> give you some pointers. Well, Sorry, we Tony. managed to reconnect with Banner. So that's something. I wasn't so worried about the tower as I was about his mental health. And if he's holding up, so will the rest of us. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.